I understand the question. So yeah, first is the mentality is in the mindset and you have to decide this decision you're going to make. The best thing about being a man is that you get to build your character. It's very much like a video game. You start off and you get to decide which of your stats you're going to work on. Do you want to work on being a fucking chess genius? Do you want to work on being a musician? Do you want to work on being a kickboxer? Like you get to decide what you want to be. And every single man of value is built. Even yourself. Think of all the good things you can do, James. You built all that. You weren't born being good at chess. You learned how to be good at chess. I know you've had all these amazing companies, etc. Think of all that experience you've had. You've built all of it. So the best thing about being a man is that you're born as nothing and you get to build yourself into something and you get to decide what that is. A lot of people haven't truly decided what they want to be. And once you decide what you truly want to be, then you need to work towards it. I knew I wanted to be this big kickboxing millionaire living in an armed guard compound with his 10 wives mafia boss. I knew what I wanted to be and I made it happen. A lot of people aren't sure what they even want. So first you need to decide what you want to do and what you want to be, and then you need to start working towards it. There's no shortcuts. Life is ultra competitive, especially for men. It doesn't matter what a government does. It doesn't matter what psyop the matrix puts on the slave mind. It doesn't matter what they try and convince you of or what kind of governmental structure they put in place. It doesn't matter if it's communism. It doesn't matter if it's uh, the democracy. It doesn't matter what it is there's always going to be people who work harder than others and it's always going to be competitive and the people who work harder are always going to win that's the game so you're either a hard-working person who gets up and does what they're supposed to do regardless of how they feel and performs or you're not it doesn't matter what system or what country whatever the hard-working ones are going to rise to the top and that's why there's i have a lot of people say to me oh i don't have motivation if you don't have motivation to be anything other than a peon then you deserve to be a peon and you will stay a peon and that's god's mission for you you are designed to work in starbucks and serve me my coffee for the rest of your human years good stay there because if, if working in starbucks like a jackass does not motivate you to get up and do something then that's all you deserve uh, you shouldn't need motivation <laughs> your terrible life is motivation most of these people who pretend they haven't got motivation don't deserve they don't deserve anything more than they've got the people who deserve to win are going to win i won because i knew i deserved it and everyone around me same story we all come from you met my dad he was certainly not a rich man we all came from fucking zero and we got there because we knew we deserved it if you're going to sit there and go i don't have motivation to try that's no problem cut my grass fine by me you know and when you were rising up to in the kickboxing world i mean what you know describe the discipline there the, the, the work ethic there i mean you had you were, you were basically fighting people to the death and completely it, yeah like so what, what yeah. did you do what were you going yeah. through then yeah so uh, yeah absolutely so i learned a lot of my discipline you're right from fighting I, I i i was a chess prodigy as a kid i had my dad as a coach it was chess originally and then it kind of moved to fighting and yeah there was a degree of fear involved i trained so hard because i was scared of losing I was scared of meeting my opponent on X day at X time and getting my ass kicked and looking like an idiot and possibly dying and getting brain damage. I was afraid and I used that fear to train as hard as possible. And you can apply that to life as a whole. You need to use the fear of being mediocre and use it to make you try as hard as possible. The reason with most mediocre people is they don't have a fear of being mediocre. They've listened to the matrix programming and they've been convinced that being mediocre is absolutely fine. It's fine to not be that successful. You know what? All our graves are the same size. Doesn't matter what you achieve in your life. doop de doo dum de dum This is the slave mind. And I refuse to accept it. I do not accept that. I accept I'm an exceptional individual and I deserve an exceptional experience of the human consciousness. And that's what I'm going to fucking have. And it doesn't matter if I have to do it myself, that's fine. Cause no one else is going to do it for me. So yeah, there has to be a healthy fear. If you're, if you're genuinely scared and genuinely uncomfortable in a certain situation, you're going to move. If you fall asleep on your arm and it gets uncomfortable, you'll wake your ass up and move your arm. But if you're comfortable, you're not going to. So when I see somebody who's sitting in a rut and they've been in a rut for a long time, they're obvious. Maybe, you know, a couple times a week, they're pissed off with the rut. You know, when they got a bill, they can't pay or whatever. And they'll message you going, I really need to get out. I've got to change my life, bro. But the second things aren't that bad. They're back to playing video games. So you're only uncomfortable two days a week. For five days a week, you're fine being a fucking loser. And that's why you're still a loser. I When I, when I had no money, James, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep a single night. I couldn't sleep. Where's my money? People have Lamborghinis. I ain't got one. I can't. I couldn't tolerate the pain in my mind. People don't have that drive. If you're not afraid of being a dumbass, you're going to stay a dumbass. That, that's it. You need fear. Well, you know, and...